According to the Vendouk Rural Councillor Pete Adams, a lack of basic utilities is exacerbating poverty and inequality in the area. The petition calls for the restoration of water services in Grootsoop with immediate effect. The cost of purchasing water privately, the councillor said, is too high and has placed an unsustainable financial burden on residents. Some parts of Grootsoop have been without water for the past two, three years. The current situation forces our people to pay for water at a cost of $200 and $250 for a 1,000 litre tank. Your Worship, we can confidently report back that the current water woes of Grot Oak did not improve at all. Residents also demand that permission be granted to Nampower to electrify the area as a matter of urgency. The petitioner said that access to electricity is a basic need, further arguing that living without electricity in a democratic country contradicts their rights. They added that electricity contributes to security, education and overall quality of life. A lack of response from the city's CEO office has resulted in residents to appeal directly to the mayor's office. Adam said Grootsoop's residents feel marginalized within the larger Ventu community despite being part of its boundaries since 2017. Vinduk Deputy Mayor Joseph Wabingene received the petition. Wabingene acknowledged the group's leader, Councillor Pete Adams, as an elected member familiar with city processes. After Adams a warning to respond within five working days or face unspecified action from the community, Wabingene assured residents that the city of Vinduk will address their concerns immediately. As a responsible local authority, there are, we cannot also just supply water direct from the borehole direct to the tap of the people or residents. We have to clean it. So, and this, in order for us to clean that water, it has to come to the reservoir. The deputy mayor promised that the city will put up two additional water tanks at Grootsoop next week. Emil Sebet, NBC News, City of Vanduk.